Hi, welcome to Survey Matters with Duncan Parnell. My name is Mark White, and I'm the Training and Support Manager for DP. Today, I want to talk to you guys about five products that came out in 2024 that can make you more productive in 2025. But first, please remember to like and subscribe. So the first product group I want to take a look at with you guys heading into 2025 are unmanned aerial systems. Duncan Parnell is your complete solution provider. We do airframes, payloads, training, and support. And a few products that you guys should be looking at heading into the new year are for heavy lift applications, the Inspired Flight IF-1200A. And then if you have need for medium lift systems, you know, we offer the Whisper Sky Scout and also the Free Fly Systems Astro. All three of these are American-made products. They're NDAA compliant and they're Blue List approved. Now for payloads, we're really looking forward to the Yellow Scan products in 2025 and then also the Echo One. The Echo One LiDAR system is also NDAA compliant as well. So the second product group I wanted to talk to you guys about heading into 2025 are Seafloor Systems Unmanned Surface Vehicles. Now the exciting news for Duncan Parnell in 2024 is we became the first platinum dealer for Seafloor Systems in the United States. We also became the first platinum certified repair center on the East Coast. All right, so a couple of the products that we're really excited about are the Hydrone and the Tridrone. Now, the, the Hydrone is a unmanned surface vehicle. It's a catamaran that's designed to hold the hydrolyte. You guys might have used a hydrolyte in the past on a canoe or a kayak, and you know now you can place it on this, and you can use this as an unmanned system so you don't have to get out in the water. You don't have to worry about falling out of that boat on a cold day. Um, but it's a lightweight system that one guy can easily set up, get in the water, and do a hydro survey along with something like the Hydrolite TM mounted on it. The other product we're really excited for is the Tri-Drone. Now, the Tri-Drone is a super subcompact model that can be folded up. You can even put straps on it, put it on your back. That allows you to get it into remote sites. It'll also work in smaller waterways that might have a tighter fit. Now, the great thing about both these products is the fact that they pair up with Trimble Access, so they're super easy to use with your current survey workflows, and they'll work with any Trimble GPS receiver, or you can even mount a prism on it and use it with a Trimble robot. And since DP is the first platinum dealer in the U.S., we have you covered for all your C4 system needs. And don't forget, we're the only platinum certified repair center on the East Coast. So if something does go wrong with one of your systems, we can turn that repair around pretty quick. And the third product I want to talk to you guys about is Trimble Access. Now, Trimble came out with some pretty good improvements in Trimble Access during 2024 that are really going to help you guys out in 2025 moving forward. So the first one is dark mode here, just being able to darken the map screen in Trimble Access so that you can see CAD drawings better or you know the lines you're drawing as you survey better in different light conditions. Um, there's another one for offsets and during the stakeout mode, being able to offset points and lines in directions using the azimuth lines or you know 90 degrees perpendicular to points and lines, that sort of thing. Um, also, measurement methods were added to measure code, so you can put measurement methods on function keys, so you can quickly move back and forth between like a wrapping point and a topo point when you're using something like measure codes to speed up your survey work. The other one was IBSS, right? We did a video on that. So I'm gonna have links to uh, a video we did on access updates that I did last month. And then also we'll have a link for our IBSS videos as well. So IBSS, Internet Base Station Survey, was added to access. That's really taken off with a lot of our customers in 2024. If you're not doing it, I would say, hey, look into that for 2025. You know, having that extra range, if you've got Internet available, 
you know, really does speed up your survey work. And in conjunction with the new receiver, the R980 that was released in 2024, it has a 4G SIM card slot in it. So, you know, you don't have to have a MiFi at the base or some sort of wireless device at the base. You can just pop a SIM card in it and use that as well. Another thing that was added uh, with tilt offset. So if you're using an R980 or an R12i, you can go to say a, a pole or a tree and you can tilt your GPS receiver in that direction and that will create the azimuth for the offset to the center of the object you're measuring to. So quick, easy way to, to get offsets there. So again, we'll have links to the videos we did earlier this year on the updates in Trimble Access, but you know, some, some great improvements Trimble put in there to help you out as you move forward in 2025. So the fourth thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is Trimble Business Center and some of the advancements that were made in 2024 in TBC to help you going forward. One of the big ones is with point clouds and feature extraction, doing auto classification. Trimble has really been able to use the power of computing and machine learning and AI to be able to teach the software to extract more feature classes. So when you have large point cloud data sets, it's able to pull out more of those feature uh, classifications automatically. They've also added a generic point extraction. We've always had things like poles and lines and signs and you know, manholes in the last year or so, but now you can pick out a piece of a point cloud, an object in a point cloud and extract the center point of that feature just using a generic point extraction. Um, one of the other new things in the photogrammetry module that's really neat is creating orthomosaics from facade. So again, in the photogrammetry module, that can really speed up your workflow. And the other one is the connected workspace. Trimble has added the connected workspace tab up here and really refined it so that you don't have to go through sync manager. You can, you can do data reduction, data preparation inside TBC and send that up to Trimble Connect. Um, you can edit your point cloud and send that up uh, to the reality capture inside Trimble Connect. And you can also download data from a data collector that somebody has sent up to Trimble Connect. So you can really use this connected workspace on the home tab to send your data back and forth without having to get out of TBC or saving it somewhere on your computer. So a lot of good advancements in TBC in 2024 to make you more productive. And last but not least is product number five, which is Reality Capture and Trimble Connect. Trimble released this a few months ago, back in October. And what Reality Capture does is allow you to share large data sets, specifically point cloud data with customers very easily on the web. So I did a video on this um, back in October when it came out. We'll put the link down in the description. But this is another thing that if you deal with large files and you need to share them with an engineer or another stakeholder in the project, uh, Reality Capture and Trimble Connect is a great, easy way to do that. You can make snapshots where when they open it up from the link you send them, it takes you right to that place in the, in the point cloud so they can see what you're looking at. You can annotate, you can comment, and it's a great way for people that aren't really point cloud savvy to be able to see your data and get good information. They can measure, they can comment, send things back to you and, and things like that. But you can share your data from Reality Capture and it doesn't have to be a Trimble device either. You know, we want you in Trimble devices, right? But it could be drone data from a third party. It could be scanner data from a third party, but any kind of LAS file, E57 file, any kind of point cloud file like that, you can upload to Trimble Connect and send somebody a link to where they can view it and they can take a look at your data. So those are five things you know that have come out here in 2024 that I think if you utilize these can make you a lot more productive in 2025. Trimble or uh, Duncan Parnell's you know UAS solutions, our new partnership as the uh, platinum dealer in the United States for C4 Systems. We've got improvements in Trimble Access, improvements in Trimble Business Center, and then also being able to share large data sets in Reality Capture. So thanks for coming by to this edition of Survey Matters, and we'll see you on the next one.